Master, do you care that we are perishing? That's uh, what we find in Luke chapter 8, uh, beginning in verse number 22, where the disciples of Jesus would cry out to the Lord. In verse 22, the Bible says, Now on one of those days, Jesus and his disciples got into a boat, and he said to them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. So they launched out. But as they were sailing along, he fell asleep, and a fierce gale of wind descended on the lake, and they began to be swamped and to be in danger. They came to Jesus and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he got up and rebuked the wind and the surging waves, and they stopped, and it became calm. And he said to them, Where is your faith? They were fearful and amazed, saying to one another, Who then is this, that he commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him? So many miracles to talk about in Luke chapter 8. This one really stands out because I think many times we can feel like we are perishing. The different, different, uh, difficult things that we face in life, the challenges we face in life, the uh, adversities we have to go through. Sometimes we may be crying out like these individuals that we read about here, his disciples, where they were crying out to Jesus, Master, Master, we are perishing. And yet we are reminded by this miracle that Jesus is the one that has power. There's nothing too big for our Savior. He fell asleep here. And it's just an amazing story. He got up. He rebuked the wind and the surging waves. And they stopped and it became calm. That's a great reminder for us that Jesus is in control. That ultimately everything is going to be okay. We must continue to remain with him, trust him. And I think that's what he's trying to get across to his disciples here in verse 25. Where is your faith? And that's a great question for us today as we go through our Bible reading. Where is our faith? Are we going to trust in the Savior, the Messiah, the one who could calm the wind and the seas, the one who could cast out demons, the one who could raise a dead girl back to life, raise the widow's son back to life? He's given us all the, uh, the evidence we need to fully trust in him. Let's make sure that we continue to trust in him. When we feel like we are perishing, when we feel like we are being overwhelmed, Remember the one who has power over all things, and that is our great Savior, Jesus Christ. Take care, and God bless.